Morning Maras, how do you do? This is my podcast and it's just for you. It's called TED Talks and it's a load of shame. But I hope you enjoy it because I've kept it like It's about an hour long and all about his side, the people, the places and the Borough Pride. Right, uh, welcome to another episode of Ted Talks, the Ted Anky podcast. As you can tell from my voice, I'm I'm proper pissed off. I'm deflated. I'm really annoyed, you know. And I'm I'm going to my little song I've got in my head going on and on now is, if I ever meet Gavin Ward, he's going to get fucking flawed, and he will. I'll fucking pan him one. I will. What about you, Mala? Yeah, well, I, uh, yeah, of course I will. I tell you what, right, I'm not a man who condones violence. That's only because I'm not very hard mind, as you know, Ted. Yeah. But, uh, like, you know what I mean? I can take a bat. Like, I, I get battered quite a lot. But I tell you what, I would bat him. I would. I hate him. He's got a he's got a forehead like a radiator. Have you seen the clip of him, man? Fucking hell, what's going on in your head, mate? Loads of wrong decisions, that's what. Well, I, uh, yeah, like, uh, like, let's be fair, right? We're all borough and we are proud, but we've been absolutely robbed there, haven't we? I mean, like, we, I know we're doing this recording, Ted, aren't we? On the Sunday, because that's the day that you were allowed out, because Julie, our big Julie, she has, like, loads of dinner, doesn't she? And she goes, Yeah. To yeah. We've got to prep it all. It takes a lot of time, you <laughs> see, so it takes a week. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then she she has a massive dinner, doesn't she? And then yeah. like she scoffs it all, and she goes in with three hour food coma because that's what they do, like the yeah. people. And like you usually nip out, and that's when you usually get some of your dog and done and that one. It well, well, ah, uh, yeah. So now, uh, obviously, we're all on clock down. I just do the podcast and that, yeah. you know what I mean, and well, have a little wank. But, well, I think the point being, <laughs> not when I'm in the shit, he doesn't like. Ladies, no, 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 right. But right, this is the thing. Right, if this had been yesterday. We'd have been banned off everything, wouldn't we, Ted? Oh, we fucking hell. Uh, honestly, um, I think the word is I was going skits. <laughs> <laughs> was going skits. <laughs> I was going skits, oh. oh. Yeah, and I tell you what, right, you know me and I hate him, but I hate him even more now, right? That term that we've come up with, Ted, haven't we? That that guy is a what? He's a rough face snacker, isn't he? Their manager. Steve right. Cooper. Steve, yeah, what? Yeah, tell you what, right? He's another one. Don't you ever be going... Well, he wouldn't be going out on the arm, would he? Because like, they wouldn't have him in the pubs. They'd just look at him and go, see you later, you clip. But I'll tell you what, if I see you ever, ever, ever see you in the Eston Labour Club, you're getting a bat. <laughs> Do you know what? Do you know what he looks like, right? I do, you look at his face and you see like his lazy boss eyes <laughs> and his big, his big, massive fucking Jim Carrey from the mask teeth, right? And like his rat face. He just looks like... I mean, one of my, one of my Twitter followers mentioned this. Um, he just looks like he, uh, <laughs> he's walked in the, the wrong room at a drug party and went, oh, he's got my gram. <laughs> <laughs> That's what his face looks he does, like. He does, do you know what, right? I've never, never like, he, he, he just, I, I'm not, no, like, you know, perfect Doyle paint, no, no, like that. And we're not knocking people who have boss. You're, you're, no. you're, a, you're a Doyle painter. <laughs> <laughs> right? And we're not knocking people's flaws and that, you know what I mean? Because Me Too culture and cancel, hey, you fuck off. He's a rough face knacker and he knows it. And I tell yeah. you what, he'll be getting a bat if he ever comes to Teesside. You are a good looking smeghead. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, man. Hey, man, all his referee dads. Hey, yeah. And all his referee dads, exactly. <laughs> and that little, that little gimbo the referee was. Hey, yeah. You put your cranes back in your bag, you mong. I hate him. Like, yeah. that's it. I'm not going to go and run and on anymore because I'm getting angry I'm, and I'm telling you, if I ever bumped into that Gavin Ward, right, I'd say, listen, oh, fucking forehead, come here. And then I'd just get him in a million dollar dream like Ted DiBiase. And, yeah, yeah, would, and... you, would you be able to get your arms around that head, though? I know, it's true, like, what I'd do then, right, I'd go to his next match, he's officiating, right, and I'd sneak into his dressing room, right, and I'd write rude dawblings on all of his yellow and red cards, right, so when, like, he holds it up to book someone, it just says to me, like, give us a bum, or something <laughs> like that, you know. <laughs> next thing you know, he might get aggressively bummed off a Nottingham Forest player. You just don't know. <laughs> well, I, yeah, well, you never know. But, right, do, do you know what, Ted, like, I, I, we love the Borough, don't we? We are, we are proud. But, I mean, 
I know people say this all the time, saying, are you, are you well, I all the borough lads, you saw, win John all the time, saying you get picked on. But I tell you what, right, you are all fannies out there in the world because I tell you what, you have to get your little officials to come. None of you have come down borough. None of you have have it with any of us. You just have to pick on us because are you, are you don't give many decisions. Are you, pa- get Paddy McNair sent off and then, like, are you, they'll be have a look and go, oh, he's done now wrong. Are you, kick Dale Fry in the head. Oh, don't give him a penalty or send him off. Do you know what I mean? This season's been absolutely dog shite for refereeing. And I, yeah. it's doing my head. In, and you know what, Ted, right? We've got like 10 games left, is it? Or 12, something like yeah. that. Because I can't count, as you know. But, yeah. right, they say it evens itself out over the season. Does it, don't they? So Does it have, shite? We should have six penalties in every game. Then come <laughs> up and look for games. So I think we're still going up, up the bury, you know what I mean? Well, I. I mean... Poor, poor Neil Warlock in that press conference afterwards, he was shaking like a shitting dog, wasn't he? He was like so angry. I thought, oh, you know, it's like some poor buggers just, just went through his fucking, his building society book and stolen all these fucking savings. He was like, oh, my money, money. He was like, he was, <laughs> he was, I didn't do the impression of a granddad out of bread there, didn't I? Like, oh, where's, where's my bloody, where's my bloody pudding? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, God, get up. Gotta get out. <laughs> <laughs> you remember when I used to dress like Joy Boswell in them leather pants and leather jacket everywhere down the club? Well, uh, loads and of I, flange, was like, didn't I? I was like that Adrian, wasn't I? I was always the poet. poems and that. Yeah. 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 But you, you were just doing limericks. So. Well, uh, <laughs> well, I was pissed. So, you know what I mean? I used to do all, I used to do all them Irish birds. Like back then, <laughs> <laughs> we're digressing. We, we dad does look like very possible, like, doesn't he? Hang on, right, we're digressing. We, we're trying to add some humour into the show. This is serious. We're kicking I'm off about the butter again. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> 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 Fucking Gavin Ward and Steve Cooper, your pair of bell whiffs. I tell you, I'm gonna gonna give you a right mouthful yeah. when I see. You. Well, I I'm not. No, not yeah. I want to add to that list, right? I want to also add. Every referee in the championship we've had this season, bunch of bellends, right? I want to add the FA, because they're a bunch of bellends as well. Yeah. They don't like them because they don't like the borough, right? And pretty much everybody, because now it's even worse, because no one liked Neil Warnock, did they? Right? So now it's even worse because it's like, we are like the proper naughty lad, and we at school. Like, and all the teachers are like, yeah, hey, well, I, but we're good at football. But like, they're like, yeah, hey, well, I, yeah, we're going we're gonna to put on him. And teach him, him a football. lesson. Let's teach him a lesson there. Exactly. And now we've got Neil Warnock, who's like, you know, the mad dad, who like, you wouldn't ever slight shout at the lad in case his dad come and batch you. Well, that's Neil Warnock with the butter. I don't know, I reckon that's Leo. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy perk of H. I thought he was going on and just start suplexing officials. Are you, well, yeah. well are you, right? have you ever thought, right, when the referees be, and I know this is bad, but I'm a bad man, right? I just wanted someone <laughs> at the referee on the pitch, mate, and just get sent off. Just think, oh. yeah, I've had enough of you doing this to us. And, like, someone crap, like, I don't know, like, let, bring a somber longer on, right, and say, right, bat him. You know, like they're doing in uh, ice hockey, where they bring yeah, on- yeah. <laughs> they don't do it to the ref though. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but and then he just gets sent off, and it'd be like, yeah, but you got a bat. Then I'd be happy. I think, right, if you're going to get a fine for dissent, surely it's not going to be much more if you were to run up to the referee and keg him or give him a wedgie or give him a nipple cripple or something like that. That would be more fun, wasn't it? Because you're causing him pain, but you're not doing it in an aggressive manner. You know, like, just whip your shorts down or, like, pull him right up and carry him round, you know, like the big, big bullies used to do. There was at school, right carry now. us, like, round, round the corridors with our underpants right up our asses. Well, I, I showed them, though, didn't I, Ted, when I stopped wearing underpants? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, followed, you followed through on that far. Well, uh, they never choose to do that to me. <laughs> to that. Yeah. And I think we've got it, though. Right. I think you should go and scuttle their ref, like the ref's wife. You know, just for like, get your own back. Oh, well, I'm going to plough your wife now. Well, that's a good idea. Um, um, right, I would say I'd do the same for Steve Cooper's, but looking at him, he can't have a nice-looking wife, can no, he? No. <laughs> no. Do you know what I mean? Like, you just turn up turn up his house, go, come to scuttle your wife, he just brings an Alsatian out. <laughs> <laughs> I'd still have a go, like, you know what I mean? Just, it's been tough in lockdown. Well, uh, yeah, you, just, you know what I mean? You get Franco on the case, don't you? Yeah, Branco, yeah, you'll have a good bash him. He'll bash anything him, you know what I mean, little virgin, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> he's the only he's the only 16, 15-year-old, nearly 16-year-old dog that is probably still a virgin. Um, well, uh, Gingus was booking from the age of one. 
he, he was out there, stunt cocking. Oh, he's fucking Branko. <laughs> stunt cocking everything, man. He's class. Yeah, I'm on about. Oh, Branko's took a few. He's just not given any. You know what I mean? That's what I. That's what I read. Is this in real life, Branko? Are you talking about the dog again? <laughs> <laughs> that's why he gets such a tough spell at fullback for the butter. You know what I mean? That's why his shorts didn't fit. Uh, <laughs> that's why he got fired after like fucking four games or whatever it was. He got he was fired. Tough as he... And fired in who? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Anderson was sticking one in him. Uh... <laughs> isn't it, isn't it like, I think they did this on purpose, Ted. Because you know what? They're all knocked off because we've been given bare cash off the government and that, haven't we? That's so what it is. You're proper jealous. Well, yeah. well jealous. And I'm like, hey, you're like, let's just, let's make for a not win now because they're getting everything. Do you know what I mean? They've got free parts and treasuries, loads of cash to splash on whatever we want. That, that Gavin Ward, apparently, he was campaigning for a, a free part close to women. It didn't win. And, <laughs> uh, and that's why he started kicking off. And apparently Steve Cooper was all for the treasury being down near Swansea. Yeah, uh, it's so. this true though, Ted, right? Are you the, the bloke, Yokozuna, Come down and did the. He was at T's part, wasn't he? Oh, <laughs> Yokozuna. Did I do the level give us a free part? What's he Rishi, called? Rishi Sukkanek or whatever he's called. Yeah. Rishi Sukkanek. Yeah. Well, well, yeah, well, yeah Yokozuna. He come down and him and, and they had the mega powers were there because Boris came as well, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah and they, like, they did like. You know, remember when Hulk Hogan and, and like uh, the Warrior were together? In the yeah. wrestling, and they're like went Whoa, went mad, like because they'd had a massive bag of coke with them. That's what they're doing. <laughs> <these parts. laughs> Yoshi Suka, Yoshi Suka, right? And Yokozuna, yeah, him and uh, like Boris, he was like the warrior, and he was. Bo- like, Bo- Boris was like just Dusty Springfield, <laughs> 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 or he was Ric Flair and everyone. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah well, uh, we got the uh, the free part here. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and then someone hit him and he just fell over and got up and fell over again. He was class, man. That's what they were doing down there. Like, but I reckon that, that's, <laughs> that's why we're going to get picked on now because the rest of the the rest of the country have just got a big nag on. Hey, yeah, well, I tell you what, see you later and do what you want because I'm still going to be happy. And I think because we've got nothing else to lose, right? Let's just start battering people on the pitch now because we're not going to go up and we're not going to go down. Yeah, I know. We might as well use this remainder of the season now to test out new fighting techniques <laughs> and uh, dirty tactics. Um, so next season, we could be like a notorious team. When we've got the, you know, as Mr. Gibson said, you need to experience the stadium with 30,000 people in. So when we're, used, when we're used to having that full house, which we're used to every week and every game, you know what I mean? And we're knocking out the bats, you know, and Savile's got like fucking, you know, like steel knuckle dusters on and stuff. We'll... Uh, People will fear coming to the riverside. That's what we need to get to. Ted, Ted, why don't you go teach him your Calf McGrath stuff you do? Because that's class. <laughs> no, it was, it was Paul McGrath stuff no. I do, mate. Well, I just, I just, I just hold my knee and pretend I'm Irish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the grand final of Master Chef. I'm Greg Wallace. And I'm the other one. Yes, he is. Before we meet your finalists, we're going to meet our special guest judges. Here we go. First up, she is the queen of cuisine. She is the owner of the five star, beautiful restaurant down on the King's Road in Chelsea called Flangellas. And here she is. It's Helena Bonjella. Carter, how you doing, my darling? You know, uh, right? Hello. Oh, yeah, hello. You know, with me, it's all about luxury foods. What we have to be doing here is think yeah. about think about the luxury in the food. Think about it. Mm, I like it to be dripping from my mouth. Mm. Do you, do you, oh, you've got me going already, Eleanor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good. I'm interested to see what your face is going to look like when you're tasting stuff. Right, next judge we've got. He's from the northeast of England. Um, I've never really met him before. Apparently, he knows his pit market cuisine. And it is uh, Peter Langdon Tingley. Uh, Peter. Yeah, you're all right. Yeah, I tell you what, right. I just love. Yeah, it's all about the now, isn't it? In, in food and stuff like that. I 
mean, it's so orange pip up north. I mean, I, I've got loads of stars, do you know what I mean? I give them myself. Like, I've got them glued onto me top look. But yeah, 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 I run all of, like, the food stalls in the orange pip and that. Do you know what I mean? And it's pure mint. It's proper class. So, yeah, I'm, I'm happy I'm on here because why wouldn't I be? Lovely, lovely, Peter. Yeah, Peter, there was a street food connoisseur. Lovely stuff there. Now, final judge is from uh, Stockton on Tees. He's called Craig, and he is the owner of the luxury takeaway and restaurant Manfredo's. Uh, Craig, what are you looking for from the finalists today? Yeah, they a nice one, Craig. Yeah, listen, yeah. Hey, yeah, if that bechamel sauce isn't on point today, I swear down, I'm going to be knocking out some bats, you know what I mean? Some of them finalists are going to get sparked out. So, yeah, watch out. Very extreme words there from Craig from Manfredo's. Uh, let's go over and uh, meet the finalists. Right, then, let's meet our two fantastic finalists on this year's final of MasterChef. So first up with you, we've got Paul from Camden. Paul, what are you going to be making for the judges to sample the day and hopefully win you the prize of MasterChef? Oh, well, you know what I mean, mate? Like, I'm going to be a bit, you know, cockney and that, so, you know, because we are London, and you know what I mean? And like, everything's about yeah, London. Cotton and that, that is just shouting at me again. I'm going to have Gerald, Gemma oh, Dean and oh. Arnold. And, and then afterwards, I'm going to have, like, a, a cooking show where I'm like, well, it's all about London, isn't it, you know? Yeah, I'm going to fuck it, I'm going to Can you say a word with him? He keeps on chucking stuff at me when I'm talking. Yeah, yeah, no, sorry about that, sorry about Paul. That, and if you heard some commotion in the background there, that's our other finalist, which is, uh, we're going to meet him now, it's Pardo from Middlesbrough. Hello, Pardo. Hi, 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 Paul, twat. No, 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 no. Papa, what are you going to be, what are you going to be making, what are you going to be knocking up for the, uh, your, your final, you know, your MasterChef finalist meal there for the judges? <laughs> well, I was going to, I was going to do like some spaghetti oops and that, you know what I mean, on toast, <laughs> but I've got, I've got, uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to do a chicken palm or, um, I'm going to be doing like a pot shot, like, you know what I mean, like, <laughs> where you put like those chilies and spicy shit on and that, it's going to be proper mint, I've got, uh, just trying to knock some chips up now, like, you know what I mean, like, uh, where, where's the chips? Yeah, yeah, well, give, give us two seconds, kids, you know what I mean? We just don't want these spuds here. We're, gonna have, we're not going to have chips, or you know what I mean? We're going to have proper chunky wedges. It's going to be pure luxury, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, yeah, buddy. Not like the onshore stuff, you know what I mean? These are offshore chips. Offshore. Yeah, it's offshore special. Right, um, I'm a bit confused here, right? Who's this you brought? Who's, who's he? It was he doing here? Uh, uh, that's me. That's Buddy. Hey, Buddy, fucking... Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Knock him out. You know what I mean, Wallace? Like, listen... Like, this lad here, he's like a son to me, you know what I mean? We're living yeah, we're not like I'm a bigger brother, do you know what I mean? That's what it is. Yeah, big deal. <laughs> like, I've been banging his mum for a while, you know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> then we got married, do you know what I mean? I mean, do you know what I mean? What it was was when she let me take her up the wrong end, do you know what I mean? You know, it was pure love. Right, OK, yeah, listen, uh, yeah, right, we, we, listen, we, we, we... Listen, Wallace, like, I can see you. I've took me brightening off there to peel and potatoes. That thing wants to be there when I get back. You understand what I'm Don't saying? Don't be this brightening, you, you fucking yeah, bloody dial. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to cook on these chips, you. Cut on with me a minute. I've got to make this special sauce, haven't I? Put my special juice in this. <laughs> no way. Well, right, uh, OK, listen, yeah, the clock started. I'm going to let you crack on with your cooking now, and then hopefully we'll uh, we'll have some nice, uh, some nice grab for the judges to taste. Yeah, that'd be nice. Well, yeah. Let's see how Paul's getting on. Well, Paul, uh, you seem to be cracking on all right here. Uh, how's the jelly deals going? Well, do you know what I mean, mate? The jelly deals are just getting jelly, didn't it? You know what I mean? Oh, it's well gel. But no, nah, I mean... Um, over the fuck, cooks and hills, you dial! <laughs> nah, what, what, there's two of them over there, you know what I mean? Like, I'm from London and that, but there's two of them, and one of them just keeps on trying to punch me all the time. I mean, I, I'm going to... I'm just going to go over here and do Knock the jelly deals, you know what I mean, mate? Don't worry about it. Listen, it's all about the quality of the food. It doesn't matter if it... Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it, Paul. You know, we've got three high cuisine judges here today. They're going to be sampling your grab, and hopefully, you know, you'll be walking away. As the I'm rooting for you, mate. I'm rooting for you now. Right then, Chef, you've got five seconds. Plate it up. Let's bring it on to the judges' table. Come on, spit spot. 
Oh, lovely. Here's my Gerald jelly deal pies and stuff. I'm just going to take it in. Right, here you go, judges. Have a cop of that, you know what I mean? Paul from Camden E. Jerry Deals. What do you think? Uh, let's have a look here, Helen. Helen, what do you think? Well, I, I absolutely adore the fact it slivers down my throat. And blah, 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 blah. Oh, it's lovely. Mm, uh, yeah, yeah. It's not, uh, Pete the Langdon Tingley, what's your mm-hmm. thoughts on well, it? Well, it's just so now, isn't it? It's so me. Do you know, it's so orange pit. It's so, you know, controversial. I love it, me. It's class. Oh, well done, you. Well done, you. Lots of interesting adjectives there from Peter. Uh, Craig, is, uh, what, what are you thinking? <laughs> what the fucking hell? Let's get that, get that out of my face, you fucking dirty cunt. Oh, right, right. I wouldn't even fucking... I wouldn't feed that to a fucking dog, you know what I mean? Fucking bring that over here. Fucking dirty fucking twat. I'll fucking bang you right out, you scruffy little fucking... Fucking horrible. Here, fuck off! Interesting responses there to, uh, to, to Paul from Camden's Jelly Deals. Right, next up, uh, Pybo, let's bring on the chicken parmo. Let's have a look. Uh, Helen, have you ever tried a chicken parmo before? Uh, what do you think about this? But it looks absolutely disgusting. It looks like it's, you know... Oh, God, it's just thrown from- together. Just cheese on chicken. Oh, oh, no, no. Yeah, well, you're you daft cow. Fucking class that, here, buddy. Here, buddy, carry this over for you now in the fucking his best penny. Hey, well, hey, yeah, like, listen, Pieball, lad, I'm not happy with this penny. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I, I know you said it was Gucci in that, but, like, you know what I mean? And uh, you know what I mean? It's, it's offshore, definitely, but I don't like the penny. You know what I mean? It's, it's, yeah, she doesn't like the fucking chicken palm on, never mind. That fucking silly cow, yeah, you know what I mean? It's not for that, is it? You know what I mean? It's not for their type. Fucking hell. Right now, uh, okay, well, uh, Helen, is he keen on it? Uh, I mean, uh, that's that's not good for the final, is it? Uh, Peter Langdon Tingley, did you get anything like this on the pit market? What's your thoughts? Yeah, well, I tell you now, all right, what boys. Hate this <laughs> I know, what? these two jokes. Oh, oh fucking hell, I hate Horrible, that, like, horrible. Look at, the, look at the clip of the bechamel. Do you know what I mean? I'd rather be going to butter pizzas. Uh, I wouldn't dare. Uh, yeah, I tell you now, you was lads out winning now, not with me, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah well, it fucking, I spoke in that bit you just put in your mouth. Yeah, so, like, <laughs> Yeah, you've, you've battered this lad loads of times, haven't you, Pad? He's you fucking dying. I'm going to kill him after I this. Mean, I really am. Uh, yeah, Wendy, you know what I mean? You'll be back you. Fucking, you're bringing people like him on fucking master. Said, Foy, he's a fucking prick. Well, I. You know what I mean? And he sells cat mind. He does, like, yeah. <laughs> he bangs it out, like, he's probably fucking put it in his fucking everyone's drinking the bummy wild. <laughs> yeah. Right, um, accusations flying left, right, and centre. Let's go over to uh, Craig from Manfredo. Uh, no, Craig! No matter! No, <laughs> fucking Craig! Craig! I think that's yeah, next one, yeah, fucking, yeah, this fucking best smell is fucking banging, I swear to God, yeah, it's fucking proper on point. I've not had best smell like that, you know, like since fucking Gilzines, uh, before the match when they used to knock food out and that, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, uh, yeah, yeah, you'll be like, and look at that, on them chunky chips there that he's done, he's put some, look at that sprinkle on the top there, that's not salt, yeah. that kid, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, put a little bit, of, you know, put a bit, a bit of whiffy on there for you a bit, you know what I mean? Class, yeah, class lads, fuck, yeah, fucking, I love it, love it, love a bit, <laughs> Fucking love it, man. Swear down. Hey, yeah, if you two fucking dials next to me don't like this, you're a pair of fucking cunts. Well, uh, it, well, he's right, like, you know what I mean? It's a bit of harsh language there, yeah, like, for TV, but he's right, anybody, well, yeah? I would, I would, I know. So, hey, we've won this, haven't we? You know yeah. the main pie, but yeah. we've won it. Where's my prize? Where's my prize, Baldy? Right, um, judges, go and convene. I want you to come back, uh, and I want you to announce who is the winner of this year's Master Chef. Welcome back to the final of a Master Chef. We have a result in. I've got it right here in the envelope here. For the uh, the judges have conferred and they've come up with who they believe is the winner. Is it Paul from Camden? Is it Parbo from Middlesbrough? Let's have a look. So I'm delighted to say, but I'm not. The winner is Pybo from Middlesbrough. Get in there, you fucking shit. Well, I fuck, it's all right, man. All the cameras, just to fuck Pybo, you fucking pricks. Do you know what I mean? Like, that would feel a class, that man. Do you know what I mean? Well done, Pybo, lad. Um, I'm I'm amazed. How did you, uh, you know, because we go back to before when you presented the Parmesan, two out of the three judges, they weren't too keen on it. How how did you win them over? Well, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, posh bird on the end there. Well, I, I scuttled down on the interval and she fucking loved it, don't you? You loved it, didn't you? You loved it, you loved it, don't you? It, 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 was, it certainly changed when I got it <laughs> in my mouth. <laughs> 
<laughs> Get pop pobbled in, you know what I mean? Right, okay. Uh, uh, what about Peter Langdon Tingley? You changed your, you changed your vote, did you? Uh, well, do you know what can I do, Greg? You know what I mean? I'm going to get a proper bat here. Do you know, like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Who married did you bat him? <laughs> Well, I was going to give him a bat, you know what I mean? He's going to get a bat, so he just, I told him, you know what I mean? I'll be smashing his head in, you know what I mean? Down the orange pit later if he didn't, so... Yeah, yeah, hey, hey, lads, don't worry, I jumped in and I had a word. I fucking batted him, didn't I, you know what I mean? I grabbed him by the conkers and I said, if you don't change your fucking vote, I'm going to fucking kill you. I am, you know, I know people. Well, yeah, hey, that's proper class, that. Class that, Craig, mate. <laughs> class. Yeah. He fucking really said, yeah, mate, class, listen, let's all go out, get wrecked in London, you know what I mean? Well, Apart well, from well, London well. Tingle. Hey, I'll come <laughs> again. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, lads, uh, well, uh, do you mind if I'll join you? Because no one knows London flange better than Big Greg. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, yeah, Greg, I tell you what, you can oh, join us, but you can give me, me back them back your Robin Cockney get, you know what I mean? I'll <laughs> <laughs> oh, tell you what, Helen, as well, if you're joining us, you need to give your flange your wash. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, I certainly will, Pipe. Well. 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 Lovely sketch there from the offshore boys there, a master chef. Uh, I've got a funny feeling that they did play more than one character, you know, a few continuity issues, but we don't care because it's only comedy, isn't it? You know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, listen, mate, right, it's, at least we've cheered each other up with this because we were furious, weren't we, um, about our... And, and do you know what I'm furious about as well? And we've touched on this as well. I, I know Liverpool stormed the league last season, but I'm dead annoyed how shit they are this season because I like Jurgen Klopp, I do. I think he's like, you know, I like how he always goes, you know, yeah, yeah in, in the moment, in the moment we did really well, yeah, 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 but today, you know, the moment was against us. He just uses the word moment to, to fucking confuse everyone. Um, um, and I was, I, I just think, you know, they, they don't deserve to be like a mid-table team, you know. That should be left for the other shit teams like Man United. Well, uh, yeah, <laughs> right, you know me, I'm just a borough lad, but I did forgive Liverpool for nicking Christian Zieger off us when they give us Paul Lint. I thought that was pretty good. So, yeah. like, ever since then, like, I just, I thought, I don't like Man United at all, so I'd rather have Liverpool. Like, if we're not going to win the league, which, like, let's be fair about it, Ted, so we might never, but yeah. uh, I'd rather, like, someone like Liverpool won it because all the rest of the teams are proper bell And Scousers sound a bit like the from Tea side sometimes. They do, yeah. yeah. They're just as scruffy as well. I like that. <laughs> uh, but I also like the fact that, you know, uh, although people say Liverpool have spent all this money, they have recouped fucking most of that money uh, by selling and wheeling and dealing and buying bargains and you know so the the net profit is nothing compared sorry the net spend is nothing compared to like Chelsea Man United Man City Tottenham you know all these bell whiffs of a team who's trying to buy success they're not they're, that's why I like about the Liverpool set up so for me they are the team that I would champion in the uh, in the Premier League if Middlesbrough aren't in uh, I'm not saying I like them or support them I'm just saying out of all the other shite teams in the Premier League, they're the ones that are the, the not a shittest. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. right. We have got something to be quite happy about as well because Hartley Pool are doing all right, aren't they? In, like, you know, the Garden and League Four, whatever it is they're in now. <laughs> 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 Mate, I, think, I, think, I think I come up against them for my team, Middleton Rangers. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they're doing well, and Hartley Pool might be coming up, and that'll be class. Do you know what I mean? Because the area, like, listen, we are Teesside, we are proud, right? Listen, we're getting fair money, the borough are going to be class, Neil Warnock staying on for another year, right? Everyone knows we hate the referees anyway, but who wants to be my friends with the referees, eh? Yeah, like, it just shows what little bell whiffs they are, all the rest of, like, the rest of them licking up the referees. We're not having that. And Teesside's yeah. going to get better, man, it's class. I, I totally agree, mate, I really do. Um and the good thing about Hartlepool as well, what you said is, um, I'm sure it's got some uh, former Middlesbrough connections um, with with the club as well. Um, I'm sure was it a was it a Middlesbrough was it a Middlesbrough player was it Craig Harrison or something? No, what was he called? Well, Craig Ignat was there, wasn't he, for a little bit, and then no. was there as well. Yeah, no, there's another one as well. There's another one there who's like assistant manager, and he follows me on the. Uh, on either Instagram or Twitter, I can't remember. 
Craig, Craig Harrison, yeah, who is a UEFA Pro license holder, assistant manager of Hartlepool, oh, hang on, of CQ, assistant manager CQN, don't know what the fucking hell that is, is that, does he work in like a coffee shop or something? Ex-Hartlepool United manager, ex-TNS manager, ex-Premier League football manager for Middles, uh, football player for Middlesbrough and Crystal Palace and Preston North End. So there you have it. Um, he's not there anymore, so that's irrelevant. Uh, <laughs> good, good segue, that. I like that, yeah. Just, uh, I'll see how I can do some good editing. So that sounds impressive, you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, hey, Ted, hey, I, I need to get something off my chest. Do you mind? Is it that big? Is it that one long hair that you keep growing? No, <laughs> I don't like that. I, I'm, like, growing it for next winter. You know me, I'm starting it, it, like, it'll be there. It'll be in place for next winter. You start, start playing it like one of them Indian instruments, what the Beatles used to play. Is that super? Yeah. Well, um, That's them, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, I, 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 you know me, right? I don't really go on nothing. Like, but I was on the Facebook the other day, right? And yeah. There was people if they have a difference of opinion, right, or, or like they don't like someone, they always go, "Oh, I bet you voted for Brexit." Have you seen this sort of like? Oh yeah, yeah. Out? Like even though it's got nothing to do with it, like they're talking about what's the best ice cream on Red Cross Seafront. Right? <laughs> someone disagrees. Hey, yeah, I bet you voted for Brexit. Right, not that I might have voted for Brexit because I'm not really interested in none of that crap. But why is that an insult all of a sudden? The only thing I can think of, right, Ted, to be honest, is that like I'm pretty upset that we're not in Europe and there's no freedom of movement. You know why, Ted? Go on. Right, because let's be fair, English flange can be a bit crap sometimes. It got right? most of the time. Well, and this was a good way of getting some like you know proper class like Polish and Lithuanian birds over. Yeah, where's the standard of flange, and and like now we don't have that. So I yeah, I'm or not, I'm not or if they do, this. if they do, mate, they've got to come over and they've got to add things to the economy, haven't they? They've got to have skills. So that means they're going to have brains, and that means they're not going to give us a bit of flange. Yeah, yeah, right. I reckon if I'd been in charge of keeping us in, remaining or remaining or whatever it is, because I don't really not bothered. But yeah. what I'd have done is I'd have had like a talent contest for birds and I'd have been like, right, hey, yeah, look at what you could have won. And I'd have like a bird from Farnaby, not saying because I love you birds from Farnaby, but you know what I'm getting at, right? Yeah. And then I'd have had like some slightly Latvian in a bikini and I'd have been like, she's not coming over here. And if we say no, I reckon, <laughs> the land I reckon we could have started a, a primetime Saturday night TV show just called something like Britain Needs Flange. <laughs> and uh, you've got like me and you on the judging panel. And uh, who else can we have on the judging panel with us? Uh, we'll have yeah. Nasser on. Nasser, because like he's, you know, yeah. well, he, he, yeah, yeah, he, he just Nasser. knows, doesn't he? He knows what's good flange in that. Uh, and then we'll have a celeb on there. Um, you know, like, what about Wayne Lineker or someone like that? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and basically, we just, uh, basically, flange has got to come onto stage and they've got to, like, tell us their uh, their best tricks and talents, right? And it could be, <laughs> it could be like, you know, you know, my name is Mary and I am from, uh, from Western Romania and I... I can cope with two penises at once. You know, and we're like, oh, right, like golden star. Boom. She's, in the, she's in the live finals. Judges houses. Boom, boom, Ted's house. You know what I mean? Like, you see where I'm going with it? We can just read sometimes, though, Ted, because you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm still going to be a judge, so I'm going to need a shed. Right, but yeah, that sounds... No, you're, you're going to be the Walliams one, you know, who's you know, just, just tying up the men. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll get involved. Hey, yeah, that sounds class, right? And I bet you we'd have stayed in Europe. <laughs> Not that, that we don't go out of Europe. It doesn't bother me one way. And I think the rest of the bell whiffs are going about it constantly, whether it's, hey, I'm glad we're out or hey, I'm glad we're in. Hey, you get over yourselves. You're still in the same country. Just do what... Nothing's really going to change, except... We'll have to like pretend to marry all this Eastern European flange instead of him just coming over for free. Yeah, yeah. I still think there's legs in Britain needs flange though. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna write I'm gonna write the pitch. I'm gonna write the yeah, pitch for it. Send it. Yeah, I'm gonna send it to all the contacts and uh, just see if we can get get a pilot going for it. Because even if we get a pilot, we might still get a little bit of flange out of it before, if it doesn't make the telly. Yeah, well, you know? I, and we could use that new globe theatre when it's finished in Stockton. Couldn't we? As like the main headquarters. 
That's that's true. And then we could have like on on I don't know like ITV two. We could have uh, you know like the spin off Britain needs flange extra, but like hosted by Rylan, you know. So we know that he's not going to tap any of our flange. No. So it, it's just just <laughs> just flange for us. Well, I uh, yeah. Can we get that big girl as well? Of the only way is Essex to come on it. I'm not, oh, not over there. Oh, I died that one. She can fuck right off. I'm not over there. She does my head in. We have a chance with her. She, <laughs> you, know I mean? she, you know me, Ted. They all love me, the big girls. I've been all right. Yeah, I know, mate. But you imagine all that false tan on your bed sheet. You don't want that. Well, <laughs> well uh, you do. It'll like <laughs> change me colour in my bed sheets anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Poor lass. She'll be like, oh, okay, I'm not getting in that. I'm not getting in that bed, babe. You're going to have to clean that bed. I'm not getting that bed, babe. And you're like, oh, well, I'll just shag it behind the bins then. Exactly, exactly. That bed is only for me and Gingis. <laughs> oh, I remember that time we took them lasses back and you insisted on Gingis still staying on the bottom of the bed. Well, uh, it was class right. She never knew where, but when she when he was licking her feet, she loved it. <laughs> well, I think, uh, just just uh, a little insight there. That was actually me doing the licking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I knew it was right. I knew it was because that bird, she was like, "Oh, oh, he's got a hairy, hairy chin, your dog." And I knew he doesn't because you know Gingus is clean shaven, man. <laughs> <laughs> and she kept going, "Oh, oh, he's a biter, he's a biter." <laughs> <laughs> I've just got big teeth. <laughs> the only, the only thing Gingus has, because you know, is he has that stripe in his eyebrow. Because he's hard, hasn't he? So, <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you pierced his nostrils as well. He did that himself, man. He's <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh. He always does that winky, like, like side mouth emoji when he uses my phone as well. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he loves his side mouth. One of the boys, you know what I mean? Uh, just a little note, little note there for the listeners. If you do see Mallow walking around the block with his top off, with what can only be described as an hard as fuck looking dog, <laughs> stay well clear, because Gingus will rip your face off. Yeah, well, yeah. He's the, he loves me, Gingus, and he loves you, doesn't he? But he ain't yeah. everyone else, so you gotta be careful. Yeah. Of his, do you know what I mean? He's proper. I, are you, Ted? No, you are right. He is hard, like, and he, he yeah. more Gingus, like he proper is. But yeah, I mean, I think that Britain's got. European flange should be decent. Do you know what I mean? That, I think that's yeah. the one that you're doing. Uh, and I think, you know, they could stay in that dead posh hotel. You know, Paris Hilton could come over as well, couldn't she? Because then they could do some cross promotions with the hotel. Think about it. And I always wanted to bang Paris Hilton. Um, yeah, yeah, no, let's do that then. Yeah, I'll write to Paris Hilton and see if she wants to come over. And we'll, uh, we'll get her a discount at the Hilton Hotel because I know someone who works there. And, um, yeah, you can have a go on her. I'm going to probably just try and, you know, draft in the weather girl, Lucy, better see me because uh, I, I, do, I do love her. I really do. Is she called Lucy and you've just said better see me? As in, like, hey, yeah, Lucy, better see me. Otherwise, like, I'm going to kick off. Oh, well, you know, Lucy better see me. <laughs> name is Lucy better see me. Uh, she, she looks very continental looking. She's beautiful. Check it out on the weather. I thought you were just like demanding that she sees you. Do no. You know I mean? See, I watch the classy weather where you watch that little fat man with a beard whose suits don't fit him on the local news. Yeah, I don't even do that. I just look out yeah. the window, you fools. What do you <laughs> tell you to tell you for? Uh, yeah, it's raining, get in. And people go, oh, you don't know what the weather's like in London. I'm never going to go to London. I'm all right. Uh, I just look out my window. I've always got a pack of that rolled up down my shorts, you know what I mean? In case it starts going, I'm all right. And if it gets too cold, I'll just run on the spot. What's wrong with you people? Weather. And you've always got a pocket. You've always got a pocket. A big box of Swan Vesta matches in your pocket as well. If you need to start a random fire. So uh... no, no, I'm not because we're <laughs> the community warden took them off me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Right, Mala, uh, wait, wait, well, where are you going now then? You see the end of the show, well, what are you doing? Well, right, funny enough, our Gingus fancies a little march about, and you know what, what Gingus says, Gingus goes, so we're going to have a look around, uh, and I'm probably just going to go scouting, you know what I mean, for, for your plan show. So oh, it's a good idea. 
Yeah. You know I mean? and, and do you know um, what? It does, doesn't necessarily have to be uh, Eastern European flange or foreign flange. I will accept local flange as well. So it will just be Britain needs flange, but it can be from various counties. Technically, Ted, down the old end of Thornaby, <laughs> one is the same. Do you know what I mean? So don't worry about it. We will have enough. We'll have a good mix down there because we're class. Do you know what I mean? We'll have our Eastern European flanges and foreign flanges and, and British flanges. There'll be loads. So I'm going to go down with Gingis now because he can snip them out. <laughs> if you know what I mean. And uh, yeah. I might well, sure get some Swan Best of Matches on the way as well. <laughs> yeah, good, good. All right then, Mallor. I'll see you later on, mate. See you later, podcasters. See you, Mallor. Bye, Bye Tom. Mallor and Gingis there off flange finding uh, as me talent scouts for. Britain needs flange coming to a television set, uh, preferably your own, very soon. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool and cool. That concludes another episode of TED Talks, the Ted Anki podcast. It's proper class in that, you know what I mean? Uh, right, I hope that's cheered all you Middlesbrough fans up. You know, I know we started with a bit of a rant about, like, Gavin Ward's big slaphead and stuff like that, you know what I mean? But hopefully the humour of the podcast has cheered you up. I really enjoyed the offshore boys on MasterChef, I've got to admit, you know what I mean? It's always nice having a catch-up with Alan, even if he does always think of Backy and Crab Sticks, you know what I mean? Um, just a few thank yous. Obviously, the sponsors of the show, Showcake Comedy, uh, Butterfan TV last off to Edinburgh Comedy Festival and the George Pub and Grill in Stockton um, good stuff thank you for your help matters um, please give them a follow on Facebook um, comedy wise me show on May the 28th in Middlesbrough um, Friday May the 28th is sold out um, so tough shit you know what I mean I am back there though on June the 25th so the following month I've got another fantastic lineup in store of comedians and uh, tickets will be going on sale to my patron followers on um, 48 hours before release date so I think it's on March the 31st you will get access to the tickets then if you're on my mailing list you'll then get access on April the 1st um, and then it'll go on sale to the general public on April the 2nd so uh, if you want to get in there early just sign up to my mailing list go on to tedanky.com you can sign up on there uh, or become a patron for as little as £3 a month and you get access to the tickets early and various other objects and shite you know what I mean so it's going to be good it's going to be proper class to be honest so don't miss out um, I think that's it really um, hopefully um, you know Middlesbrough you know we're playing well at the minute we'll get back on track we'll get a few more points I think the playoffs is unrealistic now but you know it's been a much better season than last year and I'm just glad Mr Warlock has signed up for another season and I think we'll have a real push next year when we don't have the wages of a Samba Longa and possibly Fletcher on the uh, on the bill as well. We can bring some quality proven players in. Uh, that'd be good, yeah. So cool. Uh, right then, I love you and leave you. So as per usual, up the butter and believe. <laughs>